get your teeth. Okay. Yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? Well, this is so sudden. Don't be such a wise guy. I'm talking about the girl that's waiting on us. She's my dream girl. How, how dumb can one get? The only one would give you a second look would be a cop. I could feast my eyes on her forever. Well, you go ahead and feast your eyes on her. I'm going to feast me on corned beef and cabbage. Lady, will check you out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, give me a hunk of pumpkin pie. All right. I said a hunk. That wouldn't fill my fountain pen. Well, I'm sorry. That's the regular serving. What'd you do? Snitch half of it for yourself? I'll speak to the manager about you. That's enough to burn up anybody. I could punch that guy right in the nose. Gone a day's work. Will you have pie? Yes, ma'am. Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Mint? Miss Mints. Gee, that's a cute name. <laughs> the lady will check you out. May I have another pork chop? Would you mind putting that on the plate with your hands? She touched it. <laughs> Must be part of that car that jumped over that moon. She hadn't have made it. I'll have another glass of milk, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, I didn't get your name. No, my phone number either. Is that all? I'll, I'll have another piece of apple pie. <laughs> a Costello. Every spring that love bug bites him. I have to feed him some sulfur molasses. <laughs> Are you sure that'll last you till dinner time? Yes, ma'am. And thanks, Miss Mintz. You too, welcome. <laughs> I haven't had so much fun since I've had my tonsils out. You've had your tonsils out? We have something in common. You've had yours out? Oh, no, I still got mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Jean. Oh, so am I. Some cow-eyed goon just bought the joint out trying to learn my name. <laughs> you should worry your last day on the job. Do I envy you getting into a big show? <laughs> I'd hardly call it a big show. It's just a part in a little theater play. But it might lead to something big. The way you've been studying, I'll bet it will. Thanks, Helen. I have to hurry. I'm moving this afternoon. Are you sure you didn't forget something? Yeah. I forgot the olives. Ah. <laughs> you know all that food is going to put plenty of weight on you. So I'll forget the olives. Helen, I'll phone you my new address as soon as I get located. Well, bye. Bye. Uh oh well, Miss Mintz is leaving. I gotta go. What about all this food? I'm not hungry. You eat yourself. <laughs> How much of a package? Fifty cents. May I have one? <laughs> Excuse me. You dropped your kerchief. Thanks. Nice try. Well, I... <laughs> Yes, the hustle and bustle of this big city has got me worried. Well, we're lucky there are no cars coming right now. Thank you. I've been hit once already today. Oh, you poor man. Were you hurt? Just my heart. It felt like Cupid shot an arrow right through it. Take it easy now. We're coming to the opposite curb. I'm sorry. Well, you're safe and sound now. I'll be running along. Just a minute, Miss Minson. I simply had a talk to you. You! Oh, <laughs> Love is blind. <laughs> Love is blind. She's cockeyed. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Mr. Fields? You try to raise someone's rent? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Abbott. A very beautiful young girl just moved in down the hall, and I've been helping her get her trunks and things in. And, Estello, don't you dare look at her. Don't you worry about him. 
He's lovesick. He's running 140 temperature now. Well, look, son, before you pass out, would you mind helping me get the trunk down the hall? Why don't you do it yourself? Go ahead and help our friend Mr. Fields. Certainly, I've already broken my back trying to get the Go trunk ahead. in. That'll do you good. Wear that off. Now, come on. Here, get over there. I'll, I'll load it on your back. Now, wait a minute. What are you going to do then? I'll be on the rear ring. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Come on. Up, up, up. Hey. Now, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Up. Go ahead. Come on. Wait a minute. Get all of that. Yeah, put it down. Come on, Lou. Miss Mash, oh. you're beautiful. Lou, come on, get up. You're gorgeous. What's the matter, Lou? Uh-huh. Lou, Lou. My dream girl. Lou, 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 Lou. Oh. Come out of it. Here, Hello, Lou. Miss Mintz. How are you? Hey, stop. Lou, Lou, what have I got there? Huh? What have I got there? Pick a fence. I'll pick it. A... Oh, come on, pick up out of this. What's the matter with you? We'll, look, we'll help you in with this, Mr. Fields. You get all of it over here. Come on, we'll get in the back here. Come on, get all of that trunk. Come on, put yourself together, Lou. I think it's a man ahead. Come on. Hey, up with it. Go ahead. Come on. You stay there. We'll do it. Oh, go ahead. Stay there. In the hand here. Go ahead. Here we are. That's fine. You gentlemen are so kind. Oh, Miss Wilson, this is one of my tenants, Mr. Bud Abbott. How do you do? I'm sure I'm going to love it here. It's so peaceful and quiet. Yeah. Who are that? Who are that? Who are that? The chair! The chair! Who are that? I've seen her. I, I know it ain't from the trunk. I'm not that dizzy, but I've seen her. It's her, it's her. Wait a minute. Who's her? M M Miss Mintz. Miss Mintz. Mintz? Yeah? Oh, you're off your rosser. That's my new tenant, Miss Jean Wilson. No, no. No, that's her. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, it's all right. It's all right, Miss Wilson. One of my tenants uh, just won the Irish sweepstakes. Oh, well, hey. thank you for everything. All right. Hey, I didn't even know he had a ticket no, on it. Oh, I just he... said that so she won't think this is a madhouse. Well? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Costello, what in the world are you doing? I got it. I found it. My tuxedo. The one I wore when I graduated from public school. Why? Why? My dream girl. She lives right across the hallway. Where do you see me when I get dressed up? Oh. I want to tell you something. I'm going to be the fashion plate of Fields' apartment joint. Well, you see how nice I'm going to look. Not only that, Abbott. I'm going to wash four times a day. I'm going to shave six times a day. And to be extra particular, I'm going to wash behind my ears. No, not that. Oh, yes, Abbott. Because oh. I'm in love with a beautiful girl. My girl. Abbott. Where's that crackpot pal of yours? I'm going to wring his neck. I love Jeannie with a light brown hair. I will wrap the light brown hair of Jeannie's around his neck and strangle him with it. Look, he's in love. You know what that means? Yes, it means that it's sickening. Yes. yes, yes. And let me tell you one thing. If he annoys Miss Wilson, I'm throwing both of you out of here on your ears. Hey, <laughs> Abbott! No, no, no. <laughs> Close that door. How do you like that? <gasps> All of them. <laughs> Get a load of that sneaky wolf. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't be foolish. She has a right to select her own friends. Yeah, but not a guy that low. Just so we won't be disturbed while we're rehearsing the play. Good idea. Here you are. Now you can become a southern gentleman. South of Dixie, a melodrama of the Civil War. <laughs> I like these Civil War things. They're very colorful. Well, you play Baldwin Boss, my wealthy suitor. And I play Mary Lou Dixon. Yeah. Say, who plays your country bumpkin boyfriend, Clem? Well, no one so far. We're having trouble finding the right time. Oh? Uh -huh. Shall we get started? I'd like to give him a bust in the nose. There you go again. 
For all you know, he might be a swell guy. I know a snake in the grass when I see one. Right now, he'd like to cut her throat just as soon as look at her. Oh, come on, let's get something to eat. That's a fine time to talk about getting something to eat when a helpless girl is in the clutches of a guy like that. All right, then stay here and starve. I'm going in and open a can of sardines. <laughs> I saw you last night in the moonlight with that Yankee lover. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you dare deny it? Yes, I deny it. And what if I did meet him? What business is it of yours? This is where I really get rough. <laughs> Go ahead and scream. No one can hear you. Stand back. Don't you dare touch me. <laughs> yeah. Get away from me. <laughs> What? Gotta get Abbott. Don't go away. <laughs> hey, Abbott. It's happened. What happened? He's killing her. We gotta save her. Oh, stop talking nonsense. <laughs> Come on, help me with it. Here, here, here. Wait a minute. What's going on? Is he having nightmares again? No, it's him. It's her. It's her. It's him. It's him. He's killing her. Listen. I don't hear anything. Why don't you try sleeping at all? <coughs> that was no mockingbird. I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! Don't! Don't! Break the door down! Yeah, wait a minute, wait! That's my door! <coughs> That's my girl! Okay, let's go! That's where Clem comes to my rescue. Yeah. Handle that maiden. Unhand her, I said. What is this, a joke? This is no joke. Get your filthy hands off that girl, or I'll throttle you within an inch of your life. You're wonderful. After days of searching, I found Clem. I'm not Clem. I'm Lou Costello. Oh, it's real life you may be Lou Costello. But in South of Dixie, you're Clem. All over. I'm Lou Costello. Oh, don't you understand? We're doing a play, and you're going to be Clem. You're perfect. Here. Read Clem's line. Go ahead. Now, uh, a little mix. Not much better? Thank you. You all look mighty sweet to me tonight, sugar pie. Oh, Clem, you say the sweetest thing. That's because I got a hankering in my heart for you, Mary Lou. Oh, Clem, <laughs> hell me more. That's all it says on this page I gotta turn over. <laughs> Only more I can tell you all is, I love you, Mary Lou. Uh. This is sure to you all. Don't you know by now you're not wanted? when you bring me the loveliest bouquet. Beautiful flowers for a beautiful girl. Oh, Baldwin. Be seated, kind sir. Thank you, ma'am. Hold up your hands, Baldwin. I'm putting you to work. Oh, now. How can a man be romantic when you handcuff him with this stuff? <laughs> this yarn is my best weapon of self-defense. This is my unlucky day. Here comes that lovesick shadow of yours. Oh, it's Clem. How nice. He gives me a pain in the neck. Hello, Mary Lou. What you hiding behind your back, Clem? Oh, Mary Lou, it taught nothing. Let me see. For you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Catching any fish lately, Clem? I sure have. I've been down to Cornpone Lake. I caught a mess of fish. What size? About that big. What size? Oh, well, maybe about that big. Baldwin. Colonel Cyrus! Colonel Cyrus! Colonel Cyrus! 
What's all the fuss, Jake? Kentucky is in the war. <laughs> what side is Kentucky on, the north or the south? When some are for the north, Colonel, and some are for the south. I'd like to get my hands on that scum that's from the north. So would I, Baldwin. I'd scratch their eyes out. The hanging's too good for them. When did it happen? More than a week ago. The armies is coming now. Which one? Both of them. I'm joining up. I'm joining up, too. Get out. <laughs> Goodbye. Baldwin, I'm so proud of you. Goodbye. I'm joining up, too. Come on, join up. I'll be back. Look. Pardon me, daughter. Excuse me, Father. Here I am, Mary Lou, fit and ready for action. Baldwin, the South just can't lose with both you and Clem on our side. Clem! What? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to salute you. Where did you get that filthy uniform? This is not a filthy uniform. There is not a spot on it. It's still filthy. It is not filthy. I wasn't going to take one of these gray faded ones. You big horse, you traitor! No, I'm a horse traitor. You idiot! You joined the wrong army. What did I know? I went down to a joint. The guy says, sign here. So he gave me the suit. But it's blue. What's the difference? Blue, green, yellow. It's still blue. True blue, Clem. That don't rhyme. It's true blue, Lou. That's my right name. Oh, I gotta well, use Clem in the show. Listen, you know what I want to say to you. Then him. After all, he is an American and was brave enough to enlist. Who are we to cast the first stone? Yeah, but we're gonna miss the first race. This is a show. Yeah. What's that rubble doing here, soldier? Uh, that, that, that's my prisoner. Well, take him out and shoot him. Oh, I can't. He's a regular paid-up member of the Confederate Army in good standing. Do you decline to consummate my orders? No, I just said I wouldn't shoot him. This is mutiny. Very well, we'll 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 shoot you instead. Have him then. Man, the rebels are coming. Oh, the rebels! Clem! Get back here. Where do you think you're going? I don't know whose side I'm on. Clem, that was real noble of you, risking your life to save us. That wasn't noble, it was stupid. Baldwin, how can you say that when... Where'd this Yankee dog come from? He's my prisoner, sir. I was just about to shoot him. Splendid idea, Captain. But shoot him out, dog. Don't want to mess up the rug. Right away, sir. Just a minute, Baldwin. Meeting a Kentucky colonel, I outrank you. And I demand the privilege of shooting this man. The colonel's right, Captain. He's all yours, Colonel. And here, sir, here's my gun. Come on, you. Let's get I'm going. Sorry. Wait a minute. <laughs> Give me that gun, sir. Outside, you boy. <laughs> now, stop drying your hands, young lady. And rustle us up some grub yes. while we study our math. You got him? Right here, sir. The Yanks are back! Oh, no, no, no. Relax, Captain. Relax, sir. That's only the Colonel ventilating that miserable, blasted Yankee rat. Oh. Yeah, the boy, Clem. Why are you doing all this, Colonel? Well, you saved us once. I'm going to help you. 50-50, Clem. 50-50, Clem. Perfect. I'm going to see if I can fool Mary Lou. Good luck to you. Thank you, Colonel. You all. Good luck, son. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. But could you give an old stray a handout? I don't allow no riffraff soldiers in my kitchen. Now get. Mary Lou. Don't you recognize your sweetie pie? Clem! Boy, has the war aged you. Oh, no, Mary. This is your father's idea. He made me get into this disguise. He fixed up this mustache and everything else. More coffee, woman. Just a minute, Mary Lou. You're the belle of the South. You got no right waiting on those garments in there. Let me take it in. <laughs> Oh, 
Good enough. Mary Lou, I'll wait on those guys. You don't think they'll recognize me, do you? Well, if I didn't know you, how could they? I gotta get without you all solemn talk before I all get in there with you all and they all. I'll see you, Mary Lou, you all. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I was doing a little KP duty to help the little woman. Excuse me. Well, fill the cups, man. Fill the cups. Okay. Admiral, coffee? Mm. Admiral. I'm a colonel. <laughs> what are you doing? Hold this, please, sir. Ah. Yeah, put that down. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, you heard him. Put it down. Get rid of that coffee, man. Fill the cups. Now, gentlemen, our next objective will be Lookout Mountain. Uh, yeah. Now, what, uh... Uh, what would we call? That would be the, uh, um, uh, oh, that's it. The key to the entire campaign. Thank you, soldier. Now, from here, we go down the road here, please. So we come to the, uh, young man. Watch yourself. The, the branch of the road here. Now, that's, uh, uh, when you get to this part of the road here, uh, you all see this part? Now, there, there's, a. Um, uh, you call, the fourth. Thank you, Private. The fork in the road. That's it, gentlemen. Yeah. In the fork of the road, we'll set Morgan Raiders in for a surprise attack on the Yankee left flank. <laughs> can't do that. You can't do that. Swamp on the pack. On the pack, it's swampy. He's right. You have saved us from making a grave error. That's Congratulations. <laughs> you have a keen, perceptive mind, Private. Look, tell it. Where did you campaign? I was at the Battle of Bull Run. Bull Run? What did you do there? I ran. Those who didn't are still there. Want some coffee, sir? Were you anywhere else in the campaign, sir? I was also a chickadee. Wait a minute. You mean Chickamauga. I was at Chickamauga. You was at Chickamauga. I was at Chickadee. That's tell them, soldier! <laughs> now, gentlemen, we'll send Jackson's division here around the enemy left flank and down through here in the Pimlico Gap. Uh, 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 now, uh, 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 General, General, I'm sorry. Do not send that army into Pimlico. What's what's wrong with that, son? The horses are running there. The Yanks know it. Pimlico? Ah, uh, Joe, we will not use Pimlico. And for this, son, you'll get a citation. I'm sorry, sir. Citation is one of Santa Anita. Brilliant. <laughs> You have helped us with this entire campaign. And in honor of your contribution... Ah! Quiet, sir. In honor of your contribution to the South and the victory which we foresee, I am going to make you, sir, on the field of battle, a lieutenant. Well, 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 U.S. Army, why, you're a Yankee spy! Now, hold it, gentlemen! The only reason that I'm wearing this Union suit is because I wanted to go with those Union men! They won't let in anybody unless you're a Union man! You're so not... I joined the Union Army to spy on them! You're... Don't believe him, sir! Get him! He's a spy! That must be so funny! Why, of course! I believe you're wearing a false mustache, young man! Just a minute! I've stood all I'm gonna stand from you, gentlemen! I've given my heart and heart to get after those Union men, and you're trying to tell me that this is a disguise? That's a disguise. <laughs> Go ahead, try and pull off my mustache. He did. He is a... <laughs> What's the matter, Clint? They're after me as a spy, and if they catch me, they're going to give me a rope necktie. Oh, I've got an idea. You run them past here, and I'll clunk them over the head. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Hey!
我不要碰你破了没有？啊哈！Sure, that'll last you till dinner time. Yes, ma'am. And thanks, Miss Mintz. You do the local ones. I haven't had so much fun since I've had my tonsils out. You've had your tonsils out? We have something in common. You've had yours out? Oh, no, I still got mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Jean. Oh, so am I. Some cow eyed goon just bought the joint out trying to learn my name. <laughs> you should worry your last day on the job. Do I envy you getting into a big show? <laughs> I'd hardly call it a big show. It's just a part in a little theater play. But it might lead to something big. The way you've been studying, I'll bet it will. Thanks, Helen. I have to hurry. I'm moving this afternoon. Are you sure you didn't forget something? <laughs> yeah. I forgot the Alex. Uh, you know all that food is going to put plenty of weight on you. So I'll forget the Alex. Helen, I'll phone you my new address as soon as I get located. Well, bye. Bye. Miss Mintz is leaving. I gotta go. What about all this food? I'm not hungry. You eat it yourself. <laughs> How much of the package? Fifty cents. May I have one? Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. You dropped your kerchief. Thanks. Nice try. Well, I... <laughs> Yes, the hustle and bustle of this big city has got me worried. Oh, well, we're lucky there are no cars coming right now. Thank you. I've been hit once already today. Oh, you poor man. Were you hurt? Just my heart. It felt like Cupid shot an arrow right through it. Take it easy now. We're coming to the opposite curb. Oh, sorry. Well, you're safe and sound now. I'll be running along. Just a minute, Miss Mintz. I simply had to talk to you. You! <laughs> Love is blind. <laughs> Love is blind. She's cockeyed. But in South of Dixie, you're Clem. All over. I'm Lou Costello. Oh, don't you understand? We're doing a play, and you're going to be Clem. You're perfect. Here, read Clem's line. Go ahead. Now, uh, sort of mixed. Oh. Not much better? Thank you. You all look mighty sweet to me tonight, sugar pie. Oh, Clem, you say the sweetest thing. That's cause I got a hankering in my heart for you, Mary Lou. Oh, Clem, tell me more. That's all it says on this page. I gotta turn over. <laughs> Only more I can tell you all is I love you, Mary Lou. Uh. This is sure to you all. Don't you know by now you're not wanted? <laughs> when you bring me the loveliest bouquet. Beautiful flowers for a beautiful girl. Oh, Baldwin. Be seated, kind sir. Thank you, ma'am. Hold up your hands, Baldwin. I'm putting you to work. Oh, now. 
How can a man be romantic when you handcuff him with this stuff? <laughs> this yarn is my best weapon of self-defense. This is my unlucky day. Here comes that lovesick shadow of yours. Oh, it's Clem. How nice. He gives me a pain in the neck. Hello, Mary Lou. What you hiding behind your back, Clem? Oh, Mary Lou, it taught nothing. Let me see. For you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Catching any fish lately, Clem? I sure have. I've been down to Cornpone Lake. I caught a mess of fish. What size? About that big. What size? Oh, maybe about that big. Baldwin. Colonel Cyrus! Colonel Cyrus! Colonel Cyrus! What's all the fussing, Jake? Kentucky is in the war! <laughs> what side is Kentucky on the north or the south? Well, some are for the north, Colonel, and some are for the south. I'd like to get my hands on that scum that's from the north. So would I, Baldwin. It's mine, Private. Look, tell you. Where did you campaign? I was at the Battle of Bull Run. Bull Run? What did you do there? I ran. Those who did are still there. Want some coffee, sir? Were you anywhere else in the campaign, sir? I was also a chickadee. Wait a minute. You mean Chickamauga. I was at Chickamauga. You was at Chickamauga. I was at Chickadee. That's telling them, soldier. <laughs> now, gentlemen, we'll send Jackson's division here around the enemy left flank and down through here into Pimlico Gap. Uh, 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 now, uh, uh, General, General, I'm sorry. Do not send that army into Pimlico. What's, what's wrong with that, son? The horses are running there. The Yanks know it. Pimlico. Ah, uh, Joe, we will not use Pimlico. And for this, son, you'll get a citation. I'm sorry, sir. Citation is one that's in either. Brilliant. Men, <laughs> you have helped us with this entire campaign. And in honor of your contribution... Ah! Quiet, sir. In honor of your contribution to the South and the victory which we foresee, I am going to make you, sir, on the field of battle, a lieutenant. Well, 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 Just you, a minute. U.S. Army, why, you're a Yankee spy. Now, hold it, gentlemen. The only reason that I'm wearing this Union suit is because I wanted to go with those Union men. They won't let in anybody unless you're a Union man. You're so not... I joined the Union Army <laughs> to spy on them. You're... Don't believe him, sir. Get him. He's a spy. That must be a Why, of course. I believe you're wearing a false mustache, young man. Just a minute. I've stood all I'm going to stand from you, gentlemen. I've given my heart and heart to get after those Union men. And you're trying to tell me that this is a disguise? That's a disguise. <laughs> Go ahead. Try and pull off my mustache. He did. He is a... What's the matter, They're after me as a spy. And if they catch me, they're going to give me a rope necktie. Oh, I've got an idea. You run them past here. And I'll clunk them over the head. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. There he is, man. Here they come. Right now, he'd like to cut her throat just as soon as look at her. Oh, come on, let's get something to eat. That's a fine time to talk about getting something to eat when a helpless girl is in the clutches of a guy like that. All right, then stay here and starve. I'm going in and open a can of sardines. I saw you last night in the moonlight with that Yankee lover. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you dare deny it? Yes, I deny it. And what if I did meet him? What business is it of yours? 
This is where I really get rough. Go ahead and scream. No one can hear you. Stand back. Don't you dare touch me. <laughs> yeah. Keep away from me. It's locked. Gotta get Abbott. Don't go away. <laughs> hey, Abbott. It's happened. What happened? He's killing her. We gotta save her. Oh, stop talking nonsense. <laughs> Come on, help me with it. Here, here, here. Wait a minute. What's going on? Is he having nightmares again? No, it's him. It's her. It's her. It's him. It's him. He's killing her. Listen. I don't hear anything. Why don't you try sleeping at all? That was no mockingbird. I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! Oh, don't! Don't! Oh, no! Break the door down! Yeah, wait a minute, wait! That's my door! <laughs> That's my girl! Okay, let's go! That's where Clem comes to my rescue. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to handle that maiden. On hand her, I said. What is this, a joke? This is no joke. Get your filthy hands off that girl, or I'll throttle you within an inch of your life. You're wonderful. After days of searching, I found Clem. I'm not Clem. I'm Lou Costello. Oh, it's real life you may be Lou Costello. But in South of Dixie, you're Clem. All over. I'm Lou Costello. Oh, don't you understand? We're doing a play, and you're going to be Clem. You're perfect. Here. Read Clem's line. Go ahead. Now, uh, a little mixed. Oh, wow. That's better. Thank you. You all look mighty sweet to me tonight, sugar pie. Oh, Clem, you say the sweetest thing. That's because I got a hankering in my heart for you, Mary Lou. Oh, Clem, <laughs> tell me more. That's all it says on this page. I gotta turn over. <laughs> Only more I can tell you all is, I love you, Mary Lou. Uh. If he annoys Miss Wilson, I'm throwing both of you out of here on your ears. Hey, Eric! <laughs> oh, boy! Here I come! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Close that door. How do you like that? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Get a load of that sneaky wolf. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't be foolish. She has a right to select her own friends. Yeah, but not a guy that low. Just so we won't be disturbed while we're rehearsing the play. Good idea. There you are. Now you can become a southern gentleman. South of Dixie, a melodrama of the Civil War. <laughs> I like these Civil War things. They're very colorful. Well, you play Baldwin Botts, my wealthy suitor. And I play Mary Lou Dixon. Yeah. Say, who plays your country bunkin' boyfriend, Clem? Well, no one so far. We're having trouble finding the right time. Oh? Shall we get started? I'd like to give him a bust on the nose. There you go again. For all you know, he might be a swell guy. I know a snake in the grass when I see one. Right now, he'd like to cut her throat just as soon as look at her. Oh, come on, let's get something to eat. That's a fine time to talk about getting something to eat when a helpless girl is in the clutches of a guy like that. All right, then stay here and starve. I'm going in and open a can of sardines. I saw you last night in the moonlight with that Yankee lover. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you dare deny it? Yes, I deny it. And what if I did meet him? What business is it of yours? This is where I really get rough. Go ahead and scream. No one can hear you. Stand back. Don't you dare touch me. <laughs> yeah. Keep away from me. It's locked. <laughs> Gotta get Abbott. Don't go away. Hey, Abbott, it's happened. What happened? He's killing her. We gotta save her. Oh, stop talking nonsense. <laughs> Come on, help me with it. 
here, here, here. Wait a minute. What's going on? Is he having nightmares again? No, it's him. It's her. It's her. It's him. It's him. He's killing her. Listen. I don't hear anything. Why don't you try sleeping it off? <coughs> that was no mockingbird. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Don't. 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 Break the door down. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. That's my door. <coughs> what have I got there? Pick a fence. I'll pick it. Oh, come on. Pick up. What's the matter with you? We'll look. We'll help you in with this, Mr. Fields. You get all of it over here. Come on, we'll get in the back here. Come on, get all of that trunk. Come on, put yourself together, Lou. I think it's a man of hand. Come on. Hey, up with it. Go ahead. Come on. You stay there. We'll do it. Oh, go ahead. Stay there. In the hand here. Go ahead. Here we are. That's fine. You gentlemen are so kind. Oh, Miss Wilson, this is one of my tenants, Mr. Bud Abbott. How do you do? Oh, I'm sure I'm going to love it here. It's so peaceful and quiet. Yeah. Who are that? your rosser. That's my new tenant, Miss Jean Wilson. No, no, that's her. Sorry. That's her. All right. Good oh, heavens, maybe. what happened? Oh, oh, it's all right. It's all right, Miss Wilson. One of my tenants uh, just won the Irish sweepstakes. Oh, well, hey. thank you for everything. All right. Hey, I didn't even know he had a ticket no, on it. Oh, I just he... said that so she won't think this is a man. Well, <laughs> Costello, what in the world are you doing? I got it. I found it. My tuxedo. The one I wore when I graduated from public school. Why? Why? My dream girl. She lives right across the hallway. Where do you see me when I get dressed up? Oh. I want to tell you something. I'm going to be the fashion plate of Fields' apartment joint. Where do you see how nice I'm going to look? Not only that, Abbott. I'm going to wash four times a day. I'm going to shave six times a day. And to be extra particular, I'm going to wash behind my ears. No, not that. Oh, yes, Abbott, because oh. I'm in love with a beautiful girl. My girl. Abbott, where's that crackpot pal of yours? I'm going to wring his neck. I love Jeannie with a light brown hair. I will wrap the light brown hair of Jeannie's around his neck and strangle him with it. Look, he's in love. You know what that means? Yes, it means that it's sickening. Yes. 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 And let me tell you one thing. If he annoys Miss Wilson, I'm throwing both of you out of here on your ears. Hey, Eric! Oh, boy! Here I come! <laughs> no. 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 